Okay, so what's up everyone? Um, this is going to be my first tutorial for FL Studio. I recently discovered this awesome setting that I just thought was too good to not share. Um, so basically what I discovered is that there's a way to program the Arturia or really any MIDI controller that has MIDI channel um, data. Um, but for this video, I'm going to show you how to program the Arturia Key Lab Essential for FL Studio. Um, I'm pretty sure you can apply this to pretty much any other MIDI controller, um, but I'm going to talk about how this um, is probably the best way to set it up for this controller. Um, so basically what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh quickly show you what this does. Um, is What I've done is linked different MIDI channels to different plugins and instruments over here in the channel rack. So the setting that we're going to be using here is if you right click on here and then you go over here to receive notes from and then you select the, the, uh, the MIDI controller that you want and the channel of the MIDI controller. So for each one of these I'm selecting for it to receive different MIDI notes from different channels from the same controller. And then I'm programming the controller to have separate programs for each channel. So I can simply just have this uh, uh, mini V here that we have up right now. I can control that. Or with the quick select of another uh, user map, I can have a piano. Right? So that's pretty cool. I can also select some drums. Cool, right? So I'm gonna show you how to set that up. Um, and hopefully you'll see that this is the best way to set it up for the Arturia Key Lab. Um, so the first thing that we're gonna to need to do actually is we're going to turn off the MIDI. So when you hook up your Arturia controller, um, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that it's displaying in the MIDI settings of FL Studio um, and that it's turned on and set to some port. I like to set it at one, it could be zero, 16, whatever, um, as well as setting this as the Mackie Universal Control. So I'll show you what that means in just a second, but for now I'm going to turn it off because what I'm going to do is open up the um, Arturia MIDI Control Center here. So it's going to load, and the reason I have to turn it off in FL Studio is because um, FL Studio and the MIDI Control Center can't both be using the keyboard um, because the MIDI Control Center is going to be um, uploading different programs to the keyboard, so it can't have it can't be open at the same time. So in this screen here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be programming these different user presets. So up here in the device memory section, on the on the left hand side, is our um, different programs that correspond to the map select on the controller over here on the drum pads if you push map select button once you can select different preset programs that change what these all do so analog labs and DAW are not changeable and that leaves you with six programmable user banks in order to edit them uh, we simply come down here you can uh, I believe you can create a new one. Yep, new, right? So let's say user six. I don't know what we're gonna use that for, but we'll call it user six. As you can see, I don't have that programmed yet. So when we're in user six, um, I'm gonna name that just because um, I want it to correspond to the pad. When we're done um, creating it, we're going to click store to. And I can store to any one of these but I've named it user six just to remind me to store it to user six. So while we have user six selected, we can see what each of these different programmable MIDI controllers, you can click on them, and as you can see, they have different parameters based on the type of controller it is. And those are what we're gonna be changing. So the key thing here is that we're going to be setting each one of these users up as a separate channel. And you have to program each one of these knobs. So what we do is, for instance, for user channel, uh, for user one, I want these to be my drums. So each one of these, I'm going to set to channel three. 
or whatever channel you'd like. And as you can see, all of the pads are set to channel three down here. They're going to be set to MIDI note for the drums because each note corresponds to the um, the note uh, that you're playing. I also like to just keep them all one color. That's just my preference. But also the keyboard, channel three. These buttons are off right now because I don't really have a way to use them. And these are, I, I as well do not have a way to use them. If we go down here to user three, we can see that these are channel five. These are also switched controls, meaning I'm gonna be using these to turn things on and off. So let's go ahead and dive into creating a, uh, a preset with in user six. So I'm gonna use MIDI channel 10, I guess, because actually let's do, let's do MIDI channel, yeah, let's do MIDI channel 10. Why not? Because it's already there, so that's that's easy. Those are all going to be MIDI channel 10, and they default as MIDI note. Um, I'm going to leave it as that because I'm not really sure what I'm going to be using this channel for. I'm going to go ahead and change this as well to make user channel 10. And all of these other buttons, let's go ahead and take these to switched controls, user channel 10. These work really well as, um, as buttons. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is, in order to show you how this works, I'm going to go ahead and set up uh, a little bit of my mixer, which I've been planning to do anyway. So now these all just turn things on and off. Switch control, on or off, toggle, on or off. There's also a gate option, which um, actually, I think that's the better option. I'll show you why in a little bit. We set it to gate. Toggle is going to um, change the program if you switch MIDI channels. And, uh, of course, it's a little bit tedious, but we're going to have to set all of these knobs as channel 10. That way, what basically what it means for the channel to be user is that um, whatever MIDI channel you select in the MIDI channel setting, or below the map select is a MIDI channel setting, which you can hold and then hit the corresponding note on the keyboard to select which MIDI channel uh, the keyboard will play, and whatever knobs or whatever are set to user will play based on the channel you select down here. But we're going to set it up like this, that way it's unchangeable, and we can have um, easily selectable channels via the program change. This is also going to allow us to take advantage of the Analog Labs um, built-in, uh, basically the, the knob here. It's going to allow us to take advantage of this because that has to be on channel 1 in order to work. So um, Analog Labs is going to stay on channel 1, and then we're going to set different ones to, uh, to here. So that's one, one, one tip for you when setting up your Arturia Key Lab. Make sure to uh, do different channels other than channel 1. I should probably say that at the beginning, but I'm saying it now to any channel but channel 1 because the analog lab preset is on channel 1. Okay, now these are all channel 10. Great, so I'm going to go ahead and rename this user 6 channel 10. And I'm going to call these um, mixer effects. Let's say effects because I kind of want something fun there. So we're going to store this to user 6. Save that. So save down here saves the program, but it doesn't go into the controller until you hit store to up here. All right. So, so once that's set up, and, and um, you're going to set that up for each different user bank. Okay. So right now I have user one, two, three, four, and six set up. I do not have user five programmed in. All right. So. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Oh, oops. Actually, while I have that open, sorry. So the uh, the Mackie Control Universal is what the controller uses to communicate to the DAW. Um, so that's going to be in order to use your pause and play and record and save buttons. Um, 
it's going to use that protocol. Unfortunately, Arturia and FL Studio don't work that well together. So the punch and the met metro and the undo buttons uh, don't really work. As, they don't work as I want them to, um, or I, I think as they should. But um, you're going to go over here to device settings in the upper right hand corner. And for the DAW mode, you're going to select Mackie Control. If you have it on HUI, it's not going to work. Um, I also turned Vegas mode off, so that way if I'm not using the controller, it's not flashing it at me and stuff. Uh, I believe if I change... There's a new channel. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that's for. Um, I'm going to change it to 1 just because... I think it changes, it saves it automatically if you change it, so you don't have to worry about that. So we're going to close it, come back out here into FL Studio. We're going to check that uh, my camera's still running. Sure is. Is there a term limit on it? No. Oh, sorry about that. I'm working uh, just with a little phone that doesn't have much data, uh, or it doesn't have much space on it. So we're going to go back in here, we're going to re-enable all of these, and... Now it works, as you can see. Great. So what we have here is I already have um, user 1 and 2 sent to the drums. I have Analog Labs uh, sent to the um, Analog Labs. So in order to get this to work in FL Studio, you have to match this input port with the expert, ex uh, is it the output port here? So this is channel 1. See how we have these matching? One, one, one. That's how you have to get this to work. And then you have to be on the map select analog labs. And then uh, your knob will control. And your um, buttons down here will control. You see, you can control that with the controller. I just like to be able to use the arrows. So that's why I have that set up like that. And then I have user three set up on another analog labs. Here, and this is where the piano sound was coming, and I have these mapped. Now, with Arturia um, and the Analog Labs preset, they have everything pre-mapped with the faders and stuff. So if we go on here, so if you notice, I have Analog Labs open. I have it on Analog Map Select, but the faders are turning, and that's definitely not a piano. That's because it's playing the other Analog Labs because it only receives MIDI from channel one. And you can see it's uh, affecting the, the, uh, the faders there. So what we're gonna do is, since we uh, selected user six, we could come down here and I have um, a Arturia Stage 73B that comes with it. Um, you could do the same thing here, and Arteria already has it mapped to input port one, and it will automatically map your faders and knobs to some things like the effects and stuff. And that's great, you, that's great. But if you only, if you wanna give a little bit more control, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here, receive notes from Arturia MIDI channel 10. And now when we select our user six map, we only play the piano. Remember, when we were in the uh, the MIDI editor, we set these to channel 10 too. So they're not linked to anything yet, but what we can do is we can link them to these and customize how they're linked. And then when we go to change to a different program, and we're playing our bass sound or whatever, our knobs now control that VST. See how that could get really quick. So if we just want some drums. And then some quick piano. Okay, so that was some great playing, but you can really see how this, this would get interesting. So um, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to uh, map this out. And I think that's gonna be the end of the video. So what you do in order to map this is of course we make sure that we're on the right channel. Cool, that's right. And I wanna map the, let's say the delay. I'm gonna turn it on, but I wanna map the mix. So right now no delay. But as we turn that up, of course. Um, oh, 
that's freaky. Is this the mix? Oh, that's the depth, okay. Okay, so that's the dry wet right there. So I wanna map that to, let's say, this, this knob here. What, I don't know what. So we're gonna move it, and then in FL Studio, uh-oh. I can't grab. <laughs> it's too high up. It's funny. <laughs> okay. I don't know what the frick I just clicked. Okay. So we're going to move this. And then we're going to go to Tools, Last Tweaked, Link to Controller, and then just simply move the knob we want. Now we're mapped there. So now we can control... So that's pretty cool. Now, if we change it to bass, another, another instrument. This is something else. And you can see how this can get really quick, and once we have some things set up, it's so, so much fun to play with. So I hope that you learned that. I hope that it was decent enough for you to figure out how to do it. I'm probably going to redo it at some point to make it more clear and do some more in-depth stuff. But, um, but yeah, that's how you set this up. Um, let me know if, if you like that, and I'll, I'll set up more. See you guys.